Hello, and welcome to this presentation on how to set up and type your paper in MLA 7th edition format using Microsoft Word 2016. Now this is how your paper will look once you format it, right? And there is a sample work cited. So now let's start from the beginning so that you will know how to do this on your own. So let's open a new document click file new and click blank document now you have a blank document let's make sure our page settings are correct so click the layout tab click margins and make sure normal with all of the one inch margins all around is selected let's check our paragraph spacing Click this little tilde where it says paragraph and click indents and spacing. Make sure your alignment is set to left, body text. Make sure there are zeros in both of these spots where it says before and after. And click the drop down, click double. Now let's click line and page breaks. Make sure to deselect widow orphan control. Without a lengthy explanation, trust me, you will thank me later. Click OK. Now let's go back to the Home tab. Let's check our font. We need Times New Roman 12. Click your drop down, select Times New Roman. The size needs to be 12 for the entire document. A second way to set your font is to see where the writing says font. Click that little tilde icon. And you can also select your font for your entire page here and click OK or Cancel to get out of this box. OK, first let's put in our header. So click Insert and we're actually going to start with page number. Click top of page and you want to select plane number three where the number appears at the top right of the page. Notice your page automatically appears, your page number automatically appears. Now start typing your last name. Hit the space bar one time and you have set your header. But I want you to select the entire header because this also needs to be in Times New Roman 12 point font. So click the Home tab click Times New Roman and click 12. Now, how do you get back to the header tab to close it? Click Design and click the red X to close the header. Now, your header is set. From our example, you saw that you needed to type your name first. You want to hit the Enter key one time. Now through Magic Text, I have put in the professor's name, the title of the class, and the date. For MLA format, you want to put the day first, the month, and the year. Instead of clicking the Enter key one time, your cursor automatically has gone down two spaces because the entire paper is double spaced. Now we need to put in the title. So click the center icon and begin typing your title. You want to make sure to get back to left alignment to begin typing your paragraphs. Remember the first line of all paragraphs is indented five spaces. To do that, you would just hit your tab key one time. I'm going to accomplish this with my magic text. Yes, good old copy and pasting. <laughs> but notice this paragraph, the indentation is too much. So you just click backspace and now it is set to just five spaces, which is one tab, just like all of the other paragraphs. Okay, our MLA format is shaping up. Now go to the very end of your paper and hit the Enter key one time. We need to insert a new page for the work cited. So hit 
the Layout tab, click Breaks, click Next Page. You now have a new page. Notice that your header with the page number automatically updates and appears at the top right corner. We need to center the title, which is going to be Works Cited. So click the Home tab, click Center, and type Works Cited. Hit the Enter key one time. Notice it is still centered, but we need to go back to Left Alignment. So click the left alignment button. Now we are ready to insert our reference citations. I want to show you something. The second line of each citation should be indented five spaces. Again, that is one tab. So this citation is correct and this citation is correct. The very first one is incorrect and I want to show you some tricks on how to format it. If you click to the very last character of the first line. Hit the Enter key one time. See how the word edited moved just a little bit? See how there is a space between your cursor and that E? Just click the Delete key. Now the second line is properly aligned for you to just hit the Tab key one time. And that is how you make sure your work cited is properly formatted. Okay, hopefully this has been helpful to you. Thank you so much and happy typing.